I had Willem's tumor, which is a type of kidney cancer, and it affects the kidney. So there was pain, just regular pain, to my body functioning. There was pain from all this happening. And then there was pain from always my mom and dad seeing me and then crying. The tumor was growing. It had spread to her stomach and a piece of her lung. And so they said there was really not much more they could do for her. And they wanted her to have a wish. And I didn't want the wish. <laughs> because that meant she was dying. In many cases, I see myself in this ch children's faces, because when I was 13, I was taken to Auschwitz, which was one of the worst camps you could possibly be in. I had no, ch no idea that I would be living. These children have no idea, in many cases, they die. They never live to grow up. Henry had such a horrific childhood that could have resulted in a very bitter, angry, resentful man. And he turned it around and basically gave back to kids what had been taken from him. I met the executive director of Make-A-Wish Foundation, and I told him that I'd like to help the families coming into this area. Uh, what would be the thing that I, they needed? And they said, we need a place for them to come. I started to build one villa first. As soon as I, as soon as I started that villa, I started other villa. I felt great. I felt wonderful. I couldn't do enough. I just couldn't. Because I have seen myself in these children's faces. It was exactly what I was hoping I could do. The first day we were here, Alyssa slept a lot. Um, because she woke up completely a different kid. She put on her princess dress and she was running. She hadn't been walking <laughs> for a month prior. She was in bed, um, but she was running all around and laughing and I hadn't heard her laugh in months. The first thing I saw was the Give Kids the World building and I thought, okay, you know, I had hearts all around it. And then I saw that, um, the ice cream palace and I was like oh my gosh I want ice cream right now you know I was all happy I was running around I was hyper I was happy you know but here I give this world you see smiles and you hear laughter you don't see angry people you don't see being rushed do you see people having fun and enjoying each other as a family and you lose all that when your child is sick not a day goes by that I don't see the spirit of hope and, and happiness where kids that maybe uh, had almost given up or even parents who had maybe given up as well, all of a sudden, even for if it's just a brief glimmer, they, uh, they, they forget and, and, they, and they do have fun and the spirit does come back in their lives and, and in their eyes. And uh, I can tell you firsthand, I've seen many, many children here that actually are better because of it. She had come down and was fully expecting not to survive much longer because of the diagnosis. And something sparked here. And um, here we are, what, nine years later? Yeah. Ten? <laughs> <laughs> and look at her, she's amazing. And so what she's done for me is given me hope. It is evident what our mission is. It is evident what our need is. It is evident what the impact of any contributions are, uh, whether financial or, or physical, labor, whatever. You can see it. You can see it here in the village. You can see it in the families, and you can certainly see it in, in the sparkle in the eyes of the children that are experiencing this. 
When I try to share with our partners what they do for us, I say, think about the happiest day of your life. Think about the day you got engaged, the day you had your first baby, the day you got married. And all of that emotion that just caused you to, ch to get chills all over your body. And didn't you think that you could conquer the world? I mean, you really, when you are really happy and something great has happened, you almost feel like you can do anything. And that's the kind of feeling that hope represents to me is we want to send these children back with that, I can do anything, I can conquer anything because I've got this happiness. And imagine if that spread out over seven days. I like to believe that we are prolonging the lives. I, that's my real thought. Something happens to that child. Their little system is 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 amazing. There is something in me that uh, I believe in what I'm doing here for sure, and I wouldn't want it to change that for one second. There's something here that that makes it happen, and there must be gods. God is right here in this village.